Today, we're going to take a look at how to simplify ratios. Specifically, how do you simplify three ratios at the same time? The steps to simplifying ratios, whether it's two ratios, three ratios, or 10 ratios, is basically the same process. First, you find a common factor between all of your ratios, and then divide each ratio number by that factor. Let's look at a few examples here. First example, simplify the ratio 21 to 42 to 14. Let's look at these numbers together. Do you recognize any whole number that can be divided evenly into all three of these numbers? Let's write down the factors of each and see if we have a greatest common factor present in all three numbers. The factors of 21 are 1, 3, 7, 21. The factors of 42 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, and 42. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. We can see that 7 is a factor of all of these numbers, so we divide each one by 7. When we do, we get 3 to 6 to 2. One more example. This time, let's do more than three ratios. Simplify the ratio 250 to 125 to 25 to 1000. I picked this as an example because some of the numbers are large, and I want to show you that even if you don't have the greatest common factor, you can find a common factor and keep reducing till you can't reduce anymore. All of our numbers end in either 5 or 0, so it's safe to assume they're all divisible by 5. Let's divide each one by 5 and see what happens. We get a reduced ratio of 50 to 25 to 5 to 200. We can look at that again and see we can probably reduce it down one more time, as they're also divisible by 5. So let's divide by 5 again, and we get 10 to 5 to 1 to 40. Since we have 1 as one of our numbers, we know we can't reduce it any further. So our ratio of 250 to 125 to 25 to 1,000 can be simplified down to 10 to 5 to 1 to 40. If you were asked the question, what was the greatest common factor in this example, you can look at it this way. We divide it by 5 and then divide it by 5 a second time. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 should be the greatest common factor. If we look at our original ratio and divide each one by 25, let's see what we get. 10 to 5 to 1 to 40. Wasn't that bad, was it? For more math tips and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on TikTok at ImproveMath1 and check out my website at ImproveMath.com. Thanks for watching.